Hello everyone. I welcome you all to my online classes. This is Home Maths Corner. Here today our topic is introduction to three dimensional geometry. In this exercise, we shall discuss the very introduction of the 3D. Rotating this way, this is the second three planes combination of three planes together. This is the second octant rotating. Next, we have the third octant. Okay, the combination of three planes rotating again. This is the fourth octant, the combination of three planes. After this, we come to fifth octant. This is the fifth octant. Thereafter, we have the sixth octant. Next, we have seventh octant. Lastly, we have eighth octant space. In three dimensional space, the coordinates of point P they are x1, y1, z1 and coordinates of the point Q suppose they are x2, y2, z2 then the distance between P and Q this is written like this square root of x2 minus x1 its whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 its whole square P and A, B, C. Suppose these are the coordinates. Now, what is the ratio? Internally, 2 ratio 3. So, what we do? We multiply this 2 with the coordinates of point B. 3 will be multiplied here with the coordinates of point A. We shall discuss the questions of exercise. Miscellaneous exercise of chapter 12 Introduction to three dimensional geometry for the students of class 11 subject mathematics. So let us proceed now The very first question of the exercise Three vertices of a parallelogram a b c d are a 3 minus 1 2 b 1 2 minus 4 and c minus 1 1 2 find the coordinates of the fourth vertex so the diagram of this parallelogram is like this a b c d is a parallelogram here there is no need to draw this parallelogram on the graph paper we can have the rough diagram like this so main purpose is what are the coordinates of d the coordinates of the fourth vertex suppose they are a b c right now one thing is clear that uh, we know that the diagonal a c this is the diagonal i am drawing here and diagonal b d they meet at same point, common point, and uh, they meet at midpoint. This is the midpoint, same point. So, suppose P alpha, beta, gamma are the coordinates of the midpoint of the diagonal AC. So, what we can say? alpha is equal to 3 minus 1 divide 2 beta is equal to 1 minus 1 divide 2 gamma is equal to 2 plus 2 divide 2 so 3 minus 1 2 2 upon 2 is 1 this is also beta 1 minus 1 is 0, so 0 upon 2 is 0. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 upon 2 is 2. So, alpha, beta, gamma. 
we have the values 1 comma 0 comma 2 now this is the midpoint of bt now alpha that is g uh, that is 1 is equal to a plus 1 divide 2 similarly this 0 is equal to b plus 2 divide 2 gamma that is 2 is equal to c plus minus 4 c minus 4 upon 2 we solve this from here we get a is equal to 2 minus 1 1 from here we get 0 into 2 is 0 b is equal to minus 2 and from here we have c is equal to 2 into 2 4 4 plus 4 8 so fourth vertex is a is 1 b is minus 2 and c is 8 this is the fourth vertex now next question question number two find the lengths of the medians of the triangle with vertices a is 0 0 6 b is 0 4 0 c is 6 0 0 so the diagram the triangle is a 0 0 6 b 0 4 0 c 6 0 0 okay what is the question find the lengths of the medians so medians mean what is the midpoint of a b this is the midpoint suppose the name of this midpoint is p how this is obtained 0 plus 0 divide 2 comma 0 plus 4 divide 2 comma 6 plus 0 divide 4 right so this becomes equal to 0 upon something 0 4 upon 2 2 6 upon 4 3 upon 2 right now first length first length first medium this is cp joining this this is median cp its length how we find the length distance between two points square root of x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square so this is equal to square root of 0 minus 6 whole square 0 minus 6 whole square plus 2 minus 0 whole square plus 3 by 2 minus 0 whole square that is equal to 36 plus 4 plus 9 upon 4 so this is 40 40 into 4 becomes 160 plus 9 169 upon 4 that is 13 upon 2 is the length of CP first median similarly we find the second median the same process what is the midpoint of BC somewhere this is after P we have Q how this is got 0 plus 6 upon 2 3 4 plus 0 divide 2 2 0 plus 0 divide 2 0 now we join a q so we can find the value of a q 
which will be equal to square root of 3 minus 0 whole square 9 2 minus 0 whole square 4 plus 0 minus 6 whole square 36 this is equal to 49 49 square root is 7 now last the midpoint of AC this is 6 plus 0 divide 2 PQR this is the point R 0 plus 6 divide 2 is 3 0 plus 0 divide 2 0 6 plus 0 divide 2 3 now we join R and B so R B is the third median length of this median is equal to 0 minus 3 whole square 9 plus 4 minus 0 whole square 16 plus 0 minus 3 whole square 9 right so this is equal to 25 25 plus 9 34 square root of 34 unit this is the length of third median in case of CP this was divided by 2 so this is 3 so 3 3 3 is a 9 so we have 49 49 square root 49 is 7 so 7 CP distance is 7 unit first median CP this is 7 second median AQ this is also 7 length of third median BR this is square root 34 now next question question number 3 if the origin is the centroid of the triangle PQR with vertices P is equal to 2A comma 2 comma 6 Q is minus 4 3B minus 10 R is 8 14 2 C then find the values of A B and C first of all the diagram is like this P Q R is the triangle what is the centroid centroid mean bisector angle here this point origin this is the centroid and coordinates of this centroid they are 0 comma 0 comma 0 origin is the centroid so how this centroid is obtained this 0 is equal to x coordinate is 0 is equal to x coordinate of p is 2a plus x coordinate of q is minus 4 plus x coordinate of point r 8 whole divide 3 similarly y coordinate is 0 is equal to y coordinate is 2 plus y coordinate is 3b plus y coordinate is 14 divide 3 z coordinate is 0 is equal to z coordinate is 6 plus z coordinate is minus 10 plus z coordinate is 2c divide 3 so we solve this now we have which this gives us 2a plus 4 that is a plus 2a plus 4 is equal to 0 so we write here 2a is equal to minus 4 from here a is equal to minus 2 here also 3b plus 16 is equal to 0 3b plus 16 is equal to 0 that is b is equal to minus 16 upon 3 here 2c minus 4 is equal to 0 so c is equal to 2 so what are the values of a b c a is e minus 2 b is minus 16 upon 3 c is equal to 2 now next question now next question is question number 4 find the coordinates 
of a point on y axis which are at a distance of 5 square root 2 from the point p 3 minus 2 comma 5 the very first thing any point on y axis is of the full 0 comma b comma 0 a e will be 0 b c will be 0 on y axis x coordinate equal to 0 z coordinate is also 0 right now what we have now find the coordinates of a point on y axis which are at a distance of Suppose this point is A point, its coordinates are 0, B, 0. Second point, this is B, its coordinates are 3, minus 2, 5. Joining these two points, we have the distance formula. Distance formula, AP distance, this is equal to square root of 3 minus 0 whole square plus minus 2 minus b whole square plus 5 minus 0 whole square but this is given that this distance is 5 square root 2 so this is equal to square root of 3 square is 9 plus minus whole square plus 4 plus 4b plus b square plus 25 right now squaring on both sides 5 into 5 25 square root 2 whole square is 2 is equal to 9 plus 4 13 13 plus 25 38 plus 4b plus b square now solving further we have b square plus 4b 38 minus 50 minus 12 is equal to 0 so 6 into 2 12 b square plus 6b minus 2b minus 12 is equal to 0 so we have b is common b plus 6 minus 2 b plus 6 is equal to 0 so the values of b that is minus 6 comma plus 2 so what are the coordinates coordinates of point a they become 0 comma b one time we take minus 6 0 and 0 comma second time b value is 2 2 0 0 minus 6 0 or 0 to 0 are the coordinates of the point on y axis which are at a distance of 5 square root 2 from the point p 3 minus 2 5 now next question question number 5 a point r with x coordinate 4 lies on the line segment joining the points p 2 minus 3 4 and q 8 0 10 find the coordinates of the point r here we have the two points first point is p coordinates are 2 minus 3 4 second point is q its coordinate are coordinates are 8 0 10 so we join these two points p and q and here r is any point whose x coordinate is 4 what is y coordinate we don't know what is z coordinate we don't know ok suppose this r point divides p q line segment in the ratio of k, k ratio 1 so using the section formula like this we find the value of k first of all x coordinate of point r is 4 is equal to k into 8 plus 
वन इंटू टू डिवाइड के प्लस वन वी सॉल्व दिस दिस बिकम्स फोर के प्लस फोर इज इक्वल टू एट के प्लस टू फ्रॉम हेयर वी कैन से एट के माइनस फोर के इज फोर के फोर माइनस टू इज टू सो द वैल्यू ऑफ के इज टू अपॉन फोर so the value of k is 1 upon 2 from here we can find the values of b and c b is equal to k into 0 plus 1 into minus 3 divide k plus 1 and similarly c c will be equal to k into 10 plus 1 into 4 divide k plus 1 we put the value of k equal to 1 by 2 so this becomes minus 3 upon k is 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 plus 1 3 upon 2 so this becomes 3 3 cancels minus 2 here also k is 1 upon 2 10 upon 2 5 5 plus 4 is 9 upon 1 upon 2 plus 1 3 upon 2 so this is 2 into 9 18 upon 3 6 so what are the coordinates of point r they are 4 comma value of b is minus 2 value of c is 6 now question number 6 this is the last question of the exercise if a and b be the points 3 4 5 and minus 1 3 minus 7 respectively find the equation of the set of points p such that p a square plus p b square is equal to k square where k is a constant so first of all let p be the variable point x comma y comma z here we have the point a its coordinates are they are given here 3 4 5 so what is p a distance this is equal to square root of we just find the distance between p and a this is x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square plus z minus 5 whole square next time this is the point b its coordinates they are minus 1 3 minus 7 and uh, the distance between p and b this is equal to square root of x plus 1 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square plus z plus 7 whole square right so find the equation of the set of points p such that p a square plus p b square is equal to k square so we use here using p a square plus p b square is equal to k square where k is a constant p a square mean this square root will get out so we have x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square plus z minus 5 whole square next time plus pb square again this square root will get out x plus 1 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square plus z plus 7 whole square right hand side is k square we open the brackets this becomes we solve this now 
x square minus 6x plus 9 plus y square minus 8y plus 16 plus z square minus 10z plus 25 plus x square plus 2x plus 1 plus y square minus 6y plus 9 plus z square plus 14z plus 49 is equal to k square x square plus x square is 2x square y square plus y square is 2y square z square plus z square is 2z square minus 6x plus 2x minus 4x minus 8y minus 6y minus 14y minus 10z plus 14z plus 4z next is 9 plus 16 25 25 plus 25 50 50 plus 1 51 51 plus 9 60 60 plus 49 109 plus 109 is equal to k square or minus k square is equal to 0 so what is the question if a b are the points find the equation of the set of points this is the required equation of the set of points which satisfy this equation that's all of this exercise thank you very much